Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for the latest updates. When it comes to horror movies, Insidious is a name that always comes to mind. This is because the movie was directed by the renowned horror movie director, James Wan. The story of this movie is exceptionally captivating and bone-chilling. Five parts of Insidious have been released, and I will be showcasing the detailed story of each part on my channel. In today's video, we will thoroughly explore the story of Chapter 1 of Insidious. In the beginning of the movie, Renai wakes up and looks at photos in an album. Dalton, her son, joins Renai and they both look at photos together. Dalton comes across a childhood photo of his mother and inquires about his father Josh's childhood photos. Renai tells Dalton that there are no childhood photos of his father because he was careless with them. Later, Renai places her books on a book rack, but someone throw it. Renai thinks, these books perhaps have been thrown by kids. She scolds the kids. But the kids actually had not thrown those books but some evil power. As Josh leaves for job, Renai tackles the whole house and then starts singing practice. Then she hears the crying sound of her young baby girl. And she goes to silence the baby. She keeps her baby girl quiet. In spite of this, baby girl is weeping continuously. The attic door is opened automatically when Dalton is playing at night. Dalton moves to attic and slips from ladder while switching on the light. And seeing a figure there, he begins to scream. His screaming is heard by Renai and Josh. And they come to Dalton running. Dalton does not tell that which thing made him fearful. He only tells them that he was fallen from ladder. He receives a little bit injury on his head and feet falling down. And Josh takes him into his room. Renai has been searching her music sheet box since morning. She finds that box is in attic. And that music box was at that side where Dalton was frightened seeing a thing. Next morning, Dalton does not awaken when Josh wakes him up. Renai and Josh take him in the hospital where they get this news that Dalton has led to coma. And the strange thing was this, doctors were unable to tell the reason of Dalton's coma. Having his all medical tests clear, they were not understanding anything. Their house is shown three months later. They have taken Dalton back to house. But Dalton is still not recovered but in coma. While practicing singing, Renai hears the different voices from the baby room through baby monitor. And those sounds volume is gradually increased. And then that baby girl begins to cry. Then Renai moves there running but finds no one. Renai's second son Foster says to her at night, I want to change my room. When the reason is asked, he tells that Dalton sleepwalks at night. As a result, he is frightened. Although, Foster's room is in front of Dalton. And Renai ignores his wording because Dalton was in coma. Foster wakes up at midnight, he notices the front room where Dalton is sleeping. Feeling fear, he shuts his room door. Then he feels as someone is walking out of his room. Then Foster hurriedly moves to his bed in fear. When Josh and Renai are in their room, their main door is knocked. Josh goes for checking but there is no one. Josh is returning back to his room shutting the door and setting the security alarm, but the security alarm triggers loudly. Then Josh quickly goes there and checks. And he finds the open door. He shuts the door and also snoozes alarm. Then Renai hears the weeping sounds of her baby girl. Going in her baby girl's room, she notices a man. Seeing him, she screams calling Josh. As Josh comes there hurriedly, she tells, there was a man in their baby girl's room. Josh looks around the room. When Josh arrives at the main door, he discovers the open doors that he had previously closed. Josh also does the same at this time closing the door and snoozing the alarm. He also checks the whole house. As what is the matter? Is there anyone in the house? Then we also see that Dalton was not recovering even after a long time. And doctors were unable to diagnose the reason. And Renai finds a blood-stained of hand print on the bed of Dalton. Noticing it, she is afraid badly. And she calls Josh but he arrives after a little time. Consequently, a little quarrel is held between them. Renai tells Josh that this house is possessed. And the mysterious occurrences are occurring from that day when they came here. She thought as there is something in this house. And the things are also moved from one place to another. Renai dreams at night. And she dreamt Dalton with a demon and wakes up. Then Renai notices a walking dark figure outside. And then a man enters in her room. And Renai starts screaming fearfully. Because that man makes her frightened. Josh immediately comes there. 
Rinai says to him that she does not want to live in this house anymore. Because this house is cursed, they shift in another house leaving it. Josh's mother Lorraine also accompanies them for their help in shifting. Lorraine is left astonished seeing a photo that Josh has taken his photo with his family. Rinai is also feeling something strange in this house. She encounters a child ghost there. And all doors of house are opened and closed themselves. Rinai observes, that child ghost has hidden in Dalton's room moving there. Rinai is again afraid. She calls father and then tells to Josh that the demon of previous house has also come here with them. She also informs about the child ghost to him. And Lorraine favors Rinai on it. Josh's mother tells her that Shah has dreamt of demon. When I asked it, why is it here, what does it want? Then it replied, I need Dalton. While conversing, Lorraine notices the same demon at the back side of Josh. She is frightened seeing it. Meanwhile, sounds are heard from Dalton's room. They run to his room. They find scattered things of that room, as someone has thrown things here and there. Even Dalton was also fallen down from his bed. Observing all this, Renai is more terrified. Then Lorraine calls the paranormal investigator Elise. Elise arrives at home, and visiting in Dalton's room, she feels the presence of demon there. Elise encounters the demon with its intention as it has come here for Dalton. She informs to Renai and Josh that Dalton is not in coma. He is in this state because of his matchless trait. And due to this trait, Dalton's spirit can move to another place leaving this world. And Dalton's spirit has entrapped in such a world where the dead people reside. It means, Dalton's spirit has moved to purgatory state. So, leaving the house did not make any difference. Because their house was not hunted but Dalton. Demon is proceeding towards Dalton because of his presence there. So that it may witchcraft him. Because it is not easy to witchcraft human beings so all demons are trying it for a long time. And Josh goes to Dalton. He says to him, give me a clue if you can listen me. And a sketch page is dropped down in Dalton's made sketches. Lifting that pencil sketch, Josh also notices the other drawn sketches of Dalton. There is also a demon sketch among them. Then Josh realizes Elise was correct. Elise and her partner try to contact Dalton and successful to an extent. Dalton could hear their voice and also responds. Dalton tells them that he is afraid from a man whose face is full of fire. And Dalton fears to talk with them because he was horrified that the demon may hear their conversation. Frightened Dalton says fearfully that demon has heard us. At the same time, some paranormal activities begin to happen with them. And Dalton comes to them rising from his bed. And he hurls everyone in his surroundings using his power which he possessed. And he also throws the table and other things here and there. And other demons also arrive there. While a demon scares Renai catching her. And Josh also notices it. While rescuing Renai, Josh is thrown far by demon. And during this time, Elsie tries to take demon out of Dalton. Everything comes to its normal routine and Dalton falls down. Actually, Dalton is still in coma. And in the recorded content of happened incident a time ago, we are shown demon standing behind Dalton, who wanted to possess him and he was regulating Dalton. Lorraine tells Josh that he used to fear at bedtime when he was 8 years old, and he used to tell his mother seeing an old lady. Josh was terrified from that old lady, but Lorraine never paid attention on it. And when she took the photo of Josh, that old lady was also with him in photos. The purpose of that lady was to possess Josh taking him to the purgatory state. She says that she had saved Josh taking help from Elsie. Elsie had rooted out all horrible thoughts in his mind. But Josh is afraid from photography. And this is the reason that no photo of his childhood was in the photo album. Elise tells him, only Josh can protect Dalton now. He can bring Dalton here going into the purgatory state. And she warns, it should be secret before them that you belong to this world. You should be careful. Otherwise, they can come here to possess your body. And then Josh moves to another world searching Dalton. At the same time, he encounters many demons. Going ahead, he also finds Dalton whose feet were chained. They both meet with each other. Dalton tells Josh, there is a demon who has imprisoned him here. Josh frees Dalton from those chains. And that demon notices him. That demon attacks on Josh but Josh somehow escapes from there taking Dalton. Josh is surrounded by many demons so he is not coming back easily. Then Renai is shouting in order to help Josh. And he immediately enters the house dropping Dalton there. In an effort to return to his own body, Dalton begins to explore and search for his body in various places. And demon appears before Dalton in a moment which tries to stop him. 
Then Dalton runs but Demon also runs after him. But Dalton reaches to his body running. Then we see that Josh encounters the same old lady who was seen in his childhood. Josh screams on it asking to leave. Josh says to it, go away, leave me alone, I am not afraid of you. Then we come to know that Josh is actually outside the house while that old spirit is inside. And Josh and Dalton come into senses and everyone please seeing them. As Dalton is now in consciousness and alright. And everyone is safe. Elise and her partners are returning with their luggage. Then Josh and Elise converse with each other and Josh returns his old photos to Elise. While taking photos, Elise is surprised seeing his hands. She takes photo of him. Josh has got furious on it. Here we know that old lady spirit has possessed Josh's body. And Josh's spirit has become entangled in another world. He attacks Elise and kills her by choking her. And during this time, Renai hears the voice of Elise and goes to check her. Reaching there, she becomes horrified seeing the dead body of Elise. And she sees the photo of Josh which is actually the photo of old lady spirit in that camera. He is astonished and also frightened. Meanwhile, Josh appears at her backside. Consequently, Renai is terrified and movie also ends with it. Now what happened next you'll get to know in the next video on Insidious Part 2, so if you don't want to miss that video subscribe press that bell icon, if you have any question you can ask me in comments below, thanks for watching, see you in the next part.